Hi everybody, um, we're gonna do homemade chicken soup. Um, a couple nights ago I made that roasted chicken and we had enough to make um, soup. So um, I did my broth already, but what you wanna do is put all your chicken in a pot and put in two carrots, a half onion, um, some salt and pepper, um, a teaspoon of garlic powder. I use 12 cups of water and a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And bring that all up to a boil and then simmer it for 45 minutes and um, let it cool. And then I put mine in the refrigerator to bring the fat up to the top. So, um, and after you get that done, just pick all the meat off of your, your chicken. And so we're going to just start with um, taking the fat off of the broth and uh, making the soup. So I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is skim off the fat. And I let mine cool in the refrigerator overnight. You can keep a little fat in there. Um, that's where your flavor is. Okay, once you have that done, just pour it back into your pot. I kind of leave a um, half cup where some of the residues left. And turn your burner on. Here's my chicken. And put that in. And then you need two carrots. and put those in, cut them up. Then you're gonna get a package of chicken gravy. going to place that in and stir that all around Up. Once it heats up, it'll uh, dissolve a little bit better.
and I don't put any extra salt and pepper in here. Um, the chicken was pretty flavorful, um, but if you would like, you can put some in. I just wait and uh, put it at the table. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is a half a bag of stove top stuffing, chicken flavor. And just use half of the bag. And stir that in. Now you can either use elbow macaroni or, or rice. If you're using rice, you're gonna use a half or a quarter cup of rice. If you're using elbow macaroni, use a cup. I'm gonna do noodles today. and put that in. Then you're gonna bring this up to a boil and you're gonna let it simmer probably for about a half hour, 45 minutes and then let it cool. You can put it in your refrigerator or if you're gonna have it for supper, um, just put it on the table. When I simmer it, I just put my lid on tilted. <clears throat> okay. And that's it. Easy way to use leftover chicken. Um, I'll be back when mine is finished and take a bite and see if I need salt and pepper or um, a little bit more seasoning, but everything's pretty well seasoned. Um, I want to thank you for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. I think we're 22 people now away from somebody winning a cast iron skillet. So please share with your friends and let's get up to 200. And um, I'll be back when my soup is done. Okay, mine's coming to a boil. So now just turn it down to like two or three on your stove and cover it. I just kind of tilt it and set your timer for about a half hour to 45 minutes. I'm just going to split it and do 35 minutes. And that's it. And I'll be back when this is done. This is also really good with turkey. When Thanksgiving comes, I usually do the turkey. And we have turkey soup. It's just something else to use up the turkey between... Um, the soup, your dinner, your sandwiches. It's just another way to use up the turkey. And um, the cost of food right now, I mean, I'm just using everything up. So, but I'll be back and um, you guys have a good afternoon. Okay, everybody, mine's done.
see that. And I'm gonna take a little taste. It's really hot. That's really good. We're gonna have this for supper tonight. So I'm just gonna slide it out the heat and let it cool and then I'll put it in the refrigerator and just uh, heat it up for supper. So again, thank you for subscribing, sharing, liking, and commenting. Um, Please subscribe if you haven't. We're like 22 people away from somebody winning a cast iron skillet. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I have company coming and I'm going to make a apple pie. So you all have a great afternoon and I'll see you tomorrow.